going to be a sub-zero winter camp tonight using a Pioneer 2, Terranova Pioneer 2, Thermarest, Rab sleeping bag, got lots of uh, nice cozy warm gear to keep me out of the cold. My fingers are freezing already, it's definitely close to zero degrees. Wow, sun's going down over there, it's a late one. I didn't get out till late because I've been working, teaching guitar today. So, barely made it out with enough light. Oh, wow, not so good on the GoPro, but can you see it's beautiful moorland and hills. Very rem reminiscent of the, the Peak District. Not very well known either, the Shropshire Hills. A little unexplored gem, to be honest. And a really special place, absolutely gorgeous. It's going to be another set the tent up with the head torch on tonight. That's okay. However, the Pioneer 2 is not the easiest to set up. <laughs> the spot I was going to camp on is actually taken. So it's just. So I'm going to have to uh, make do with this slightly lower point, but it's fine. It's a really nice spot. Wow, it's gorgeous. Hey, in a tent. That's what it's all about. The sense of adventure begins. <laughs> it's like playing dens when you're a kid, isn't it? Nothing beats it. Let's see what I've forgotten. And no, remember that. No, annoy, no proper thing to hang your light off in here. You have to improvise. Adapt and overcome. There we are. But what have we got for tea later? Peanuts. Army ration. Sweet and sour chicken with rice. <laughs> it's going to be more on the sour side, I'd say. And what do we have in here? A spare dry bag. Always useful. Brushing the teeth. The stove. Never forget your stove. I have done that before. A horde of clothes I'm not going to need. Down trousers. Crikey. This is like an Arctic expedition. All gear and no idea. An insane down jacket. This would keep you warm up Everest, this thing would. eBay special. The sleeping pad of choice tonight. Thermarest. Neo Air Extern. It's ancient, I think this is had this since the beginning and this is a, another eBay special. The valve is like the old-fashioned one so I have no idea how flipping old that is. Can't believe I'm in the Thermarest again. It's the old faithful. It's been on many an adventure with me. I've farted on it countless times. It's borne witness to all sorts of ineptitude. Do you dare me to have some Mexican sweet chili army ration peanuts? That's like dusty cardboard with chili on. And we've got the big guns tonight. The Rab 900 Ascent. Look at that. Okay. 
Oh man. Look at that. The big red worm. That's gonna keep me warm. Okay now the bed the bedroom has been arranged. We can get on with the important business of having a can of scrumpy. Right. Let's do that. I called it a uh, news agents on the way and uh, bought one can of scrumpy for two pound thirty nine. What's happened to the world? I remember when you could get a pint of Guinness for one pound fifty. Now look at the state of affairs. Kind of blinking scrumpy, but the bonus is it's six <laughs> percent. So it's kind of like one and a half cans. All right. Cheers. Here's to your elf. Something really edgy about Scrumpy. Yes, you call it edgy Jack. So what do you reckon to my tent? Look, look at the headroom. That's all right, isn't it? Totally straightened me back out sitting on a pad. Still got the obligatory having to headbutt the, the lantern, the light, but oh well. Right. I'm gonna go and have a look at them stars. You coming out with me? Wow. Wow. Look at that moon. You can't see anything. Luckily, my phone's doing a time lapse, so there'll be something to show you. It's so much more mild over this side of the hill. Yo. Snippy. Ooh. So I think time to get tea on the go. I sourced some water from a supermarket. Oh, straight in the sleeping bag. That's genius, that is, mate. Fucking genius. That's going to need to be cleaned up. What am I going to clean that up with? I know. It's just rubbing it in. What the fuck is that noise? That's pretty loud. on the go, tea on the go even. So I guess I should put the board in the bag in with the boiling water, right? That seemed pretty sensible to you. How many E numbers in this, ready? Just one, e, E1442. Cooked chicken, that's reassuring. Wasted youth, that is. Can't believe I made my sleeping bag wet. <laughs> the first winter camp, what am I doing? I'm, e I'm an Egypt. Why do you need a wee more when it's cold? I always need a wee more when I'm camping, which is a pain in a pain in the willy because you have to get out of the tent and wee. So. Let's do it. I've got to get in a wet sleeping bag, can you believe? It's such a fine line between being warm and being 
cold. It's like, just come in, pull your feet in, cover your legs up, and then suddenly the warm levels go up, and then your feet start warming up, your fingers start warming up, and then, you know, just take the sleeping bag off like that, my legs are, and then every, the temperature starts dropping. It's like, and if I just sat here all night without the sleeping bag on myself, the temperature, the temperature would just keep dropping until I was freezing. It's like so, always such a fine line between warm and cold. I, I shall have to go for that aforementioned wee. Wish me luck. Oh, this Pioneer tent, Pioneer 2, is a very warm tent. That's the one thing I can definitely say about it. it it's a little tricky to put up. It doesn't quite fit. The, the ground sheet and the inner don't really fit. And there, there needs to be some line locks on the pegging out points. But apart from that, it's a good tent for the money. That's still expensive, 300 odd quid. But, you know, it's, it's pretty um, not as expensive as some other tents out there. And it's just so warm. If I go outside, I'm freezing in seconds. But in here, it's a good noticeable, even with the inner down it's a noticeably you know a good few degrees warmer so i get my spork out the spork of doom there it is but in its sheath excalibur got that out of the lake lady gave it to me oh, look at that steaming example oh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah, oh, I think that's heated through. So nice and warm. Now this never goes according to plan. And today it sort of has actually, look at that. Oh, chicken aloo has dropped in my tent now. Eh? It tastes like mango, it smells like mango chutney. That's all right. I've had worse things like pineapple vibe going on. There's a crunchy thing. What do you reckon that is? That's a water chestnut, what I just ate. That is. This would be a weird thing to eat on a battlefield, wouldn't it? You know, you're ducking down under fire and then you, after a day's receiving incoming mortar fire, you decide to have a chicken aloo. Mmm. That's going to warm me up. Oh, just made myself a nice galaxy hot chocolate. It's got that certain chemical buzz about it that I like. Really not feeling the cold here at all. It's really, really mild in this tent, but stick your hand outside and wow, it's a different temperature out there. It's a beautiful night. The moon's done some crazy circular patterns. I took some photos, or maybe I'll throw them up on the screen now. Oh, I think it's getting towards nine o'clock and I'm going to hit the hay, so I'll see you in the morning unless something loony happens in the night. I won't be switching the GoPro on and I'll see you in the morning. time. Oh, wow. It's nice, eh? Whew. So, the Pioneer 2. It's a nice looking tent, isn't it? It's a sexy alien egg. And uh, the corners are the annoying thing. If you can see in this light. 
that he's no way of stretching those down to the ground. And you can see that the ground sheet doesn't quite fit, look. And uh, yeah, that's the only problem with it. Oh, and the top. You can't tension the top on every side. You can't tension the top here. So it doesn't quite fit straight. You can see it needs dragging across there. So that's the problems with it. But I've had it, I reckon, in 40 plus winds and it was barely moving. So it's a good tent and it's warm. It's very, very warm. It looks cool. Wow, the Shropshire Hills. Look at that. It's Sunday morning now and there's probably some joggers gonna be about and bike cyclists, so I better, I better get out of here sharpish. I'm late, I shouldn't be really packing down in this type of place when it's just getting light. <sighs> right, let's get moving. Leaving no trace, and Wim Hof, and uh, I think that's it for me today for this video. It's been a short, abrupt, and to the point one. I just uh, wanted to get out onto a local hill, get in an ice box for the night, and uh, reset. And I think I've done that. And. Uh, Looking forward to some more winter camps now. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you on the, the next one. Adios. Here's my uh, latest subscriber. Thanks for subscribing to the channel, buddy. Oh. Uh, they, they say they don't want to meet their heroes. I can understand that. I am as cool in real life as I appear on YouTube though. So see you later. Thanks for subscribing. Mm -hmm.